guys, my name is Skylar and I'm a senior year at Glencoe and I am running an event called the Glencoe Mass Drive and today I'm going to show you to make two different types of masks. So this is the first mask we're going to be making. Um, this is the Noso Bandana Mask and all you're going to need for this mask is you're going to need some bandanas and you're also going to need some hair ties. I got the hair ties from Dollar Tree and I got the bandanas from Michaels. First thing you want to do, grab your bandana and lay it out. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half, like so. Next thing you do, take one of the ends and meet it in the middle. Take the other end and you're going to overlap it a little bit, just like that. Now you're going to take one of your hair ties and you're going to put it at one end and kind of... Um, Place it six inches apart. Take your other hair tie and you're going to do the same thing at the other end. Um, next thing you're going to do is take one of the ends and meet it in the middle. And then right in the middle of the bandana, there's like little pockets and stuff. There's one pocket when you flip under when you flip the first um, flap, and then there's going to be a second flap. And in that second flap, there's also another pocket, and this is where you're going to tuck it in. So take your end, tuck it under the first flap, and kind of pull it, and then you're going to tuck it under this pocket right here. Just like that. Yeah, pretty easy. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. So, yeah, then just tug it, mm -hmm. that's all we're going to make. So this is the next mask we're going to make. This one does require a lot more materials than the other one that we made, and there's just a couple of materials that you're going to need for this one. The first material you're going to need is a sewing machine. Um, you could also hand sew it if you want to. The next material you're going to need is some fabric of choice. You can also cut up an old t-shirt if you would like to. I got these from Michaels. You're also going to need some elastics to make the little ear loops. And I also got these from Michaels. You're also going to need a marker to mark up like the measurements and stuff on the fabric. You're also going to need some scissors to like cut the fabric. And finally, you're going to need a ruler. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay out your fabric. Then taking your marker, you're going to mark 6 by 10 inches. So once you got your um, fabric marked, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it out. You can either draw a line or freehand it, whatever works fine. But I am going to cut it out now. Once you got your first piece of fabric cut, what you're going to do now, take your fabric again, and I like to place the fabric that we just cut on top of it. And then you can either trace it or you can cut it because we're going to need two pieces of fabric. So once you cut it, you should have two pieces of fabric. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lay one on top of each other. This is where we get the sewing machine involved, or you can hand sew it. 
go ahead and flip it and the blank side should be facing up. We're going to fold the long side first. And you want to fold it not super small but not super big, but just fold it enough to where you can sew it in the middle and go ahead and do the same thing to this side as well. So once I sewed both sides of it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's stitched up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sew this side, but this side you're going to do a little bit different. You want to fold it just not super big, but just enough to where the elastic can go through because that's where the ear loops are going to go. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. As when stitching it, you want to stitch it kind of close to the end of the fold of it you don't want to fold it and you don't want to stitch it in the middle because if you stitch it in the middle the elastic isn't going to go through and do the same thing to the other side so after you got your mask sewn it should look like a rectangle we're going to take our elastic and we are going to loop it through the, the side of the hole. So once you got your elastic through the hole, go ahead and cut it to where it fits your ear. Now we're going to do it to the other side to what it should look like. So these are the final masks that I have made or you guys should have made. These are really fun and easy to make and I highly encourage you guys to remind us for the upcoming mask drive that is happening. So from October 26th, through the 30th is the actual mask drive. From October 26th to 30th is also when we're doing pickups. There will be a Google form for you guys to fill out as well. On October 31st is when the donation day is happening. So from 12 to 5 p.m. there will be a drive-by donation day in front of Glanco High School. You can donate any kind of mask. It doesn't have to be the mask that we made. As long as it's a mask, then it works fine. If you cannot find a way to get materials or if you really want to make one go ahead and shoot me a text i'll put my number up right here but go ahead and shoot me a text and we can figure out something if you can't make masks or aren't able to make masks um you can donate money if you want to it is totally optional but you can donate money if you want to so yeah all proceeds and donations of masks and money will be going to community action family shelter thank you guys for watching and please stay safe and healthy and yeah bye guys